I'm not flying Southwest. I will go get on another plane, but I want money to go get on another plane. Okay. They will not accept our vouchers yes. to let you know. So you're telling me that I'm screwed. So we're both going to lose our jobs because of what y'all did today. Right. I, mean, I, I need a corporate number. I want I want the general manager who works Seriously, right down here right now. Because I told now. them we were going to miss our flight. I told them we were going to miss our flight and wanted to do something about it then. And they told me to have a seat and we'll let you know when you're going to miss the flight. They so tell us after we, we missed, missed the, the flight. flight that we missed the flight. No shit, we missed the flight. I could have told you that. Right, but the thing is, probably the sooner that you could have got out would not have been within the 50 minutes. It would have been tomorrow still. We sat on that plane for an hour. What are you talking about? You said 50 minutes prior. So you wouldn't have gotten anywhere 50 minutes sooner. Not to Jackson. Chris, Chris. Okay, so what do we do? Take the first available that I have okay, tomorrow. Okay, let's stop talking about tomorrow. Yikes. Honestly, there are some airlines that have terrible customer service and I don't know exactly what went down here. I don't know who's in the right or who's in the wrong. I don't know because it looks like they have to be somewhere that day and they were ready for their flight and then something happened. So we missed the flight. No shit, we missed the flight. I could have told you that. I don't know. If somebody knows the full story, then let me know in the comments below so that I can judge them. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, it looks like they were trying to get their flight. They then missed it because of the airline, yada, yada, yada. Now we see this. Help! What do you need? What do you need? Karen on the move. Headphones. She stole my headphones if you don't stop her. I am going to call the police. Now. Not a joke. stuff is coming out of her bag and like there's so much stuff in her back pocket that it's just gonna fall out she claims that this woman stole her headphones how does she know but also if she did steal the headphones how come no one is stopping her I don't know I guess they need like physical proof that she actually took it and then this Karen goes on a rampage and starts throwing stuff at them like what was that oh my God. Karen, what is going on? I feel like she just made some stuff up to get attention and get like a free airline pass or something. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to the Peachiest channel on the internet. I'm your host, Peach. And today we are looking at the dumbest airport freakouts. Uh, let me know in the comments below before we begin if you could go anywhere in the world. Where would you go? Well, let me know. Uh, where would I go? I've always wanted to go to Australia, Peru, Fiji, Bali. Bali looks beautiful. I'd love to go there. Anyways, with that being said, smash that like button. Obviously, subscribe to Peach Be a Peach. Now, we'll continue on with the video. Everyone's just laughing. <laughs> Oh my god, did you hear the little kid in the background? It's like, what happened? What happened? She's a Karen, that's what happened, kid. She's she's Karen. Uh, I honestly don't know what happened. I think she got removed from the airplane, probably because she was being a Karen and probably was just like, excuse me, this meal isn't kosher. Uh, what do you mean I only get pretzels? and a drink. Are you kidding me? That's unacceptable. Unacceptable condition! Unacceptable! Thank you. My phone is kill me! Thank you. She's a racist pig! You're a racist pig, you know that? You're a goddamn racist! Chill. Thank you. Give me my money! Give me my money! My money paid for this shit! You get that, you stupid asshole! 
What is going on? I know your manager's not nice and all, but that's not fair. You don't do that to your customers. Oh, it's three people right You don't do that to customers. She's never going to get paid in the world if she wants to be tripping like that. Um, do you have another? Okay, but what is going on? What was she doing? What's going on? Give me the details, Karen. I need to know. Honestly, I swear that the airport is like one of the places where you don't freak out because uh, they got a lot of security and secret agents and all that stuff monitoring the airport to make sure it's safe, you know? It's not like I have a bomb in here. It's not like I want to blow up the plane. I just want to stow my bag according to your safety regulations. Uh, that's the one place where you don't want to have a public freak out because they could easily arrest you and then be like, okay, we're going to strip search her. Let's do a little pat down. Let's do a little whoop. Ooh, ooh. And watch your fingers, booty hole man! If she seems suspicious, which she sure, certainly does. You have to call security! You have to! We were right here when she was doing this! No, you cannot do this! You can't do this! You can't! Please, you cannot do this! We were here! All these people! No, because we couldn't hear anything with all the people and the things going on. The flight has is, hasn't left, it's leaving in 15 minutes. Please! Call please, security! Please, please call someone! Please call someone! Please! please call us. You have to let us on! We were here! We were right here! Please! I am begging you, please! No, it's not! It's 15! No, you have to let us on! Please! I'm sorry. Once I close the door, let me open the door. Please! Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, that's hard. That's so hard. Imagine like waking up super early because people are paranoid and they get to the airport like three hours early. I would know. Anyway, so imagine getting there like super early. You're in the correct zone. You're waiting. They're boarding. You're like, okay, cool. Then all of a sudden they like shut the doors and you're like, I've been here waiting. That is frustrating. I don't know if they went to the bathroom and came back and when they were there, like the doors closed or what happened, but I can't lie. That's very frustrating. It's to be there and miss your flight. I can't believe they can't open the door and let them on because we all know it takes them like 15 to a half an hour before they even detach and go on the runway, you know? Can I help you with the overhead bag? And she's like, Don't touch me! What happened? Like, I'm genuinely concerned what happened here. I need to know the backstory. I can't just see this video. Now I need to know why she was freaking out like that. Also, if I was on that flight, I'd be pissing my pants with her or screaming like that. Oh, I'm a nervous flyer as is, but to have someone else like that, I'd be panicking. <laughs> Detained or whatever she got 
She probably got strapped down to a seat by one of those secret spy flyers. What are they called? I know what it's called. The PSA. It's not the PSA. Sky Marshal! Sky Marshal. Okay, cool. Sky Marshal got her, strapped her down. I wonder if they could put duct tape on her mouth. I'm gonna flex and bust out of here. <laughs> Trapped. It's not happening, Red. Okay. Like, are they allowed to do that? Because even if she's strapped down to her seat, she'd be like, this is illegal! You can't detain me! Blah, 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 blah! You know? I hope that they could have duct taped her. Maybe a little sedate her, too. This woman just had way too much fun at that lounge before going on the plane. Please film. You guys are all distributed. And they're killing you. Dude, I was gonna say he's cute, but then that attitude, ugh, negative, negative points for that. His personality, negative. Uh, we're not about that. Anyway, I know it's frustrating when you miss your flight and then you gotta like postpone it and maybe get a hotel. It's very frustrating. It probably doesn't help. Airport workers are laughing at you. She works here, she's filming. She's laughing. Everyone, she's laughing. But it also doesn't help if you freak out. You know what I've learned? I've learned that. If you stay calm and you talk about it rationally, they're much more understanding and willing to do something for you. Whereas if you're yelling and screaming at them, they just want you to get the hell out. They don't want to help you anymore. So just when you're in a tense situation like that, I know it's hard to keep your calm and not freak out. You got to do it because then they'll help you. That's just a little life advice from, from Lindsay. I feel like this is coming into a TED talk. <laughs> I swear if you land, I will... Kill everybody on this plane! I will kill everybody on this plane! I will! I will! Bro, they need to have things to sedate them. I, like I said, I'm a nervous flyer, so if somebody just starts saying they're gonna kill everyone on the plane, I'm like, this is it. I'm not making it out of here. Nice knowing y'all, okay? You look like nice people. Like, that just scares the crap out of me. Clearly, it was just an empty threat, but like, in the moment, you don't know what's going on. I will kill everybody on this plane! I hope they, like, strapped her down and locked her into the bathroom or something like that. Donnie, this isn't, un this isn't funny. You gotta untie me, buddy. I can't untie you. And in a number one spot, let's see what we got. Give me the off this guy! Wait! You oh, have me! Oh, turn in that down. You will see me! Holy! You will! Oh, hell yeah! I will! I don't care! Put me in a safe place! You who my brother died, they're three snipers! You wanna f with the fing Marine? she's been to hell this is hell right now she is hell anyone around her is witnessing hell because she's a freaking demon Get me the off this why is 
she cursing and yelling like that? Also, how big is that goddamn plane? Like, she ran and there was still more. My brain, like, actually hurts. I'm, I'm exhausted watching this video. She just sucked the life out of me, this demon woman. All right, guys, this has been the dumbest airport freakouts. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any airport or traveling horror stories? Let me know. Also, while you're down there, smash that like button. Obviously, subscribe to Peach. Be a Peach. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, aka Peach. Stick around for some bloopers, and I'll see you when I see ya. Stay peachy. Oh, I thought my thing was going off. What is that? Oh, it's, I have to close the curtain. Hold on. Hey everyone, what's up? Is this Karen Freakouts? No, it's just Dumbest Airport Freakouts.